limited housing inventory has contributed to the competitive marketplace that we see in a lot of areas of Northern Michigan, specifically Petoskey, Harbor Springs, and Boyne City. Hi, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a local Northern Michigan real estate agent specializing in helping you relocate to Northern Michigan. Today, I wanna to make you as educated as possible so that you can be successful in the home buying process. So many people that have decided to move here have either spent a limited amount of time in Northern Michigan or no time at all. This makes knowing the area well enough to be competitive in the market a bit of a challenge. That's why when you call me to help you begin your home search, I will make sure you're as educated as possible as to the ins and outs of buying a home in Northern Michigan. First and foremost, if you wanna live in Northern Michigan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have spent some time here. Now I'm not saying you have to relocate here for a month, but spend a week or two checking out the areas visiting the local shops and restaurants and figuring out which part of Northern Michigan best suits your lifestyle. I actually just had a client who hired me to sell their house after they bought it with another agent because they ended up buying a house that was nowhere near the types of things they wanted to do in Northern Michigan. And once they got here and got a feel for the lay of the land, they decided they'd be much happier in a different town, which required them to sell the house they just bought and buy another house. And let's be honest, who wants to go through that moving process twice when it can be avoided by just doing a little bit more research? Also, of course I'm a little bit biased, but I think you need to have a local real estate agent on your side. That way you have somebody who's boots on the ground and that can help you learn everything you need to know about the area you're moving to. Now with a market as competitive as it is, you're trying to always look for a competitive advantage when submitting an offer in a competitive situation. One way to do that is by waiving your home inspection. Now, while in some cases this might make sense, the majority of the time you're going to want to have a home inspection done for nothing else than to at least know exactly what you're buying. Another mistake that I've seen buyers make is ignoring the hidden costs. If you're moving from a warm climate to a cold climate, for example, you're not going to always take into consideration the cost to remove the snow and the other costs that go along with living in an area that has a very harsh winter. I've also went over this in previous videos, things like home insurance, property taxes, and things that are sort of variable, you're going to want to have a good idea of what those are before you decide to purchase a house. Another mistake that I see buyers make is ignoring future development. Now while Northern Michigan is sort of laid back and we don't have a bunch of new development here, it is coming. In fact, Amazon announced last week that they're going to be opening a major distribution center right here in Gaylord, which is about 45 minutes away from Petoskey. And I would hate for you to buy a house expecting to have this great view and then suddenly they build a condo or hotel development directly across the street blocking your view. So again, if you're working with a local agent, make sure they're doing their due diligence so you know the entire scope of the area and what you're buying into and making sure that what you see when you look at the home is how the area is going to remain. Also, most areas up here have Facebook groups that tell you what's going on and the rumors and things you need to know that are going on in the area. Another mistake that buyers make, and this is my personal pet peeve, is not thinking about resale value. Now I get it, you might be relocating to Northern Michigan and this will be the last house you ever buy. And that is perfectly fine. We have a lot of clients just like that. However, if this is not the last house you're ever gonna buy in the history of your life, you have to consider resale value. In fact, with as much as the prices have gone up, you're going to need a significant equity out of this house to buy your next house. So I compare it to playing golf. When you hit a golf ball, you're playing that ball for your next shot. Meaning when you buy a house, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're buying a house that is gonna give you a good enough return that when you wanna buy a better house, it's an easy step up and you're going to appreciate that extra equity. Also in terms of resale, if you're buying a house, sometimes I like to tell my buyers, how can we add value? Is it updating the kitchen, updating bathrooms? Is it adding onto the house? Is it redoing the entire interior? What can we do to make sure this house is worth as much as possible when you go to sell it? That way, again, you have that equity to put towards your next house. Another issue I'm starting to see pop up is understanding local regulations. Every municipality is different from the state level to the county, even down to the township. If you're buying a house and you wanna have chickens in your backyard, it's not as easy as just putting chickens in your backyard. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there are no restrictions from the township level on doing such a thing. Also, another big topic that we talk about in the videos often are short-term rentals. If you're buying a home in Northern Michigan and you plan to offset the cost by short-term renting it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your local municipality allows you to do so. It's never happened to one of my clients personally, but I've heard horror stories from other agents that have sold houses to people who thought they were gonna short-term rent them 
only to find out they actually could not do that. My last pet peeve and something I wanna make sure you avoid is relying solely on online information to make a decision on which house to buy or what area to buy in. Now Zillow is a great resource, Realtor.com and the news websites are great resources, but they're not always the most accurate. In fact, I can't tell you how many times I go to a listing appointment and somebody pulls up this estimate from Zillow on their computer and it is way off from the value I've came to. Online resources are a great guide, but you're really gonna need your local realtor to be an advocate for you and give you honest, truthful information about what houses are worth and what are the do's and don'ts when buying a house in Northern Michigan. Now again, this video is just meant to educate you and odds are if you decide to buy a house in Northern Michigan, the process is gonna go smoothly and you're gonna end up living in a place that many people wish they could live. If after watching this video, you have any questions about what it would be like to relocate to Northern Michigan, please feel free to reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141. And for more videos like this, please hit the like button.